Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Explore with Ahmed. It's Ahmed Kosani and today I will be taking you to Sue Log and the Whitefish Island. So put your helmet on and let's go. You will need to take the same roads for when you go to the boardwalk. Take bus number 4 or number 2 for about 20 minutes. Or you can get there by biking, only for 15 minutes. Just like what I am doing now. After the bus drop you off, cross the road carefully and this time you will go to the right instead. Same for the boardwalk, people do fish over here a lot. And here is our CSU Vice President Noah trying to catch some. On your way to Sulok, you will come across the mill market, in other words, the farmer market, which brings the best of our lakes, fields, and forest products to local consumers and connect them with northern Ontario farmers. Right now, we are biking past the Clerg hydroelectric power plant. After you pass it, you will get to the entrance of Sault Ste. Marie Cana, a national historic site of Cana. Here are the direction. If you go to the left, you get to the visitor center and the administration building. At the log, you will find lots of information and pictures about its history and about how the log works. The St. Marie Canal built in 1895, and it was the world's longest lock, the first to operate using electricity. Today the canal is used by recreational craft, and it's a great spot for boat watching and picnics. What you are seeing right now is the emergency swing dam, which has a global significance as the last remaining structure of its kind in the world. A bridge like that, that can swing out over the water and lower wicks and shutter down into the water to reduce the flow of water. After crossing the log, you are now on Whitefish Island, a territory of the Batuana First Nation. On Whitefish Island, you will experience the wonder of quiet woods and wetlands as you wind your way to the St. Mary's Rabbits. Keep your eyes open for the ducks, herons, frogs, squirrels, raccoons, and other wildlife that cohabitat along this accessible trail as you walk or bike under the International Bridge built in 1962. And now I will leave you to see footages of some parts of the 2.2 kilometers trail.
brings us to the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for our next exploration.